Hey guys, uh, Ryan Mayne here, back with another video. This one's by request from Terry Stone. Um, you, thanks again for all the requests. Um, this one being uh, more a little bit more of an about me sort of thing. Um, I don't think I've ever done one, so you know, give you a little bit of a background story. Um, uh, the name, like Ryan Mayne, came from. Uh, it was a nickname in high school. Kind of just stuck with it. Iron Man being one of my favorite bands. So that's why I used it. I started this thing, what? I want to say. Um, I guess it, was long, it wasn't as long. I, my first video, looking back on my update videos, even now, my first video was October 24th, 2013. Is that right? something like that i and it's not it wasn't even it's just the it's just audio that i recorded from audacity and you know a, an instrumental version of the song placed them like random pictures and that was a long time ago <laughs> yeah thir like thr 2013 so that's yeah like seven uh, seven years ago now um and it started out, I just wanted to do vocal covers. Like, I was just, just a way for me to get out there vocally. Just, to, like, expose myself like that. You know what I mean? Hopefully get some attention. Get a, to find some like-minded musicians to do a band. And, you know, off and on it's happened. But I haven't found anything that actually sticks. And then, like, you know, I started getting into other people. Like, doing it, like, even, just, like, you know, Sean Miss Prime and, like, Sean Lon, all those guys, and, like, Pixel Dan, and I started doing, like, since I collect, another hobby I do, I collect figures, I've done it since I was, I grew up, I mean, since I was a kid, I've been collecting, so I decided I should do videos on that as well, like, off and on, so I'd swap between the two, and then there was a point, in one of my bands, I had lost my voice for a while, like, I couldn't sing very well for a while, so I, I ended up taking a break from doing the music, and, you know, just doing the straight covers. I mean, doing the straight, like, reviews. And like, I, and then I would do other things, too, besides just figures. I'd do movies, comics, even albums I used to do. Like, album cover, uh, album reviews. And then, you know, bringing it back. And varies. And the music varies. Even, like, the songs I decide to you do. Kind of just by mood for a while. Until I, I get requests. And then I started, you know, asking for requests. Which I try to do. If... I try to do as many as requests as I can, um, <laughs> and I send them, and I put out the attempt there, whether it's good or bad, so I guess that's fun to watch, I'm hoping you guys enjoy that, the ones that, like, check them out, but, like, yeah, it varies, it's just songs I'm, I, I feel at the time, because I'm into different stuff, I'm into, like, I'm, I, you know, right when I first got into music, I was into punk. You know, I was into pop, pop, punk, and stuff like that. I was into Misfits, which I still love, like stuff like that, and like Offspring. I grew up with Offspring. I grew up listening to Blink One Eighty Two. My favorite pop, pop band is Newfound Glory, but and then like you know, I grew up like some of the classic stuff on my parents' side. I grew up, you know, listening to Tears for Fears, all the '80s stuff, like Journey, um, R.L. Speedwagon, and stuff like that. Tears for Fears. Uh, Prince, Love Prince, uh, Michael Jackson, um, Queen, Love Queen, uh, another band, like Phil Collins, Genesis, which is another one of my favorite bands right there, um, but then, you know, middle, like, in middle school, I really got into that, but then I started getting into metal, too, but I, I also liked, like, Linkin Park and stuff, but the first heavy, heavy band that I listened to was probably Metallica, that's the one that got me into metal, I heard Ride the Lightning, you know, Ride the Lightning changed my music perception for a long time. That's the one that got me into, like, everything else. And then, like, you know, I got into Iron Maiden, where the game came from. Love Iron Maiden, still one of my favorite bands there. I've only done a few covers of Iron Maiden, I know, but... You know, I try to do covers, even, even like, for people, common stuff, unless somebody requests a song specifically. I, I try to do songs that are, like, not exactly... Maybe not the mainstream, like... Like Master of Puppets or stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like I just, I just uh, started doing that. Like Bullet, every time. But I mean, every time of my fa one of my favorite bands does an album, I try to do a song, at least one song, from the new ones that came out that come out. 
So that's why I have tons of bullet songs, tons of like New Found Glory, New Found, um, A Day to Remember, which is another one of my favorite bands. Um, and I just do it, go from that way. But everything else is just kind of what I'm feeling at the time. That's why there's some random songs in there. And like, some of these old ones I really want to go back and redo because like my old prog uh, process was very crude because I, I used to use like this old netbook and I would record from that microphone on there with um, Audacity, I'd mix songs, like either I'd use an instrumental, usually, um, at, if I could find one, or like record over it, and then I'd do the backing vocals. Like it was cool, I got to do the full sound, which I can't do anymore the way I do it now, but it was very crude and sometimes the notes wouldn't hold, so it would trail off and get lost in the other music parts of the song. And it's like, some of them would turned out really good, even now, and some of them not so much. So it just kind of depends. But, uh, so I want to go back and redo some of my ones that I really like to do. So I'm going to probably start throwing those in as well. And then, like, like, and how I do it now, how I do it now, even, even though most of the time now, it's hard to find in good instrumentals because I don't like doing ones that sound like karaoke. I'd rather have, like, a song that sounds exactly like the pitch and tone of the actual song. So if I can't find an instrumental, I usually just... I usually just use the actual song and then I sing over it, you know, I sing a lot and then, you know, just for copyright reasons, I try to say, I put vocal cover sing along. So that's what I, that, that way it's not like me trying to sell the song, you know, or, or just, you know, like just to make sure, cause I know it's not mine and I put them in the, in the description. It's not my stuff. And then when it is an instrumental, I tend to, I try to link where I get it from. So if you guys want to try, or just just to give them credit for it, so that's what I do, and uh, I think so far it's a pretty, it's not a perfect system, but it tends to, uh, you know, it gets the job done, and I'm hoping you guys enjoy the uh, the effort I put in. So hopefully you guys enjoy this these videos, because I keep doing it, because I love doing it, I love singing. That's music is my passion. Um, I really would love to make it into a career one day, but until then, or even even afterwards, I'll probably still do this just for fun because I enjoy doing it. It's fun for me, and I'm singing most of the time anyway, even if I'm not recording. If I know a song, I'll sing it. It's kind of a you know, curse of having the book, being a vocalist, you know, and it's like, but it's fun, you know, and you know, it's like I hope you guys enjoyed as well, you know. I, um, but. Like I said, it's just fun, you know, and I, I, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a, I guess a little bit of background about me. Um, not going too personal, but just a little bit about my channel, what, what my goals on it, what I, what it started at, you know, a little bit of my, like my musical background, I guess. I, cause I've been, you know, like I said, rock, paint, rock and metal and stuff was my, was my go-to. I mean, that's what I started. It's my heart. You know, I come back to it, but you know, in the recent years, I was in, like, even like, I don't want to say, like, within the last four years, I've gotten into stuff like, um, like, synth pop and stuff like that, which I literally love now as well. Like, one of my favorite, I went and seen Carly Rae Jepsen, which is one of my favorite acts now, you know. I'm a huge Jepsy, um, but not ashamed to admit that. Um, and, like, her album Emotion really changed my perception on that. Like, I fell in love with that style of music as well, and it's like... I want to incorporate that, like, vocally into my stuff as well. Like, I would love to be in a band like that, mix that with, with my background that I already have. Maybe a little bit more pop-punk, too. You know, punk-punk. Those are my three, you know, and in metal. Like, I can do screams. I can do metalcore. I don't want to do it all the time, but it's it's another one of my favorite genres, so I do come back to it from time to time. So I'll do a bullet song. I'll do Kill Switch from time to time. You know, some of my favorite bands. Honestly, two of my all-time favorite bands right there, so I'll come back to that, but... I want to do a little bit more too as well. I just want to branch out, be a little bit more variety. I just, I the only thing I can't really do. I'm not a country guy, so I don't really. I'm not, a, or really a rap guy, so I don't really. I can't really rap that well. <laughs> I can do like Linkin Park, but like anything beyond that, not really in my wheelhouse. And it's just, I'm not really. I'm not. It's too bad. I wouldn't. It's not something I'd really want to try to do, because I'm, I'm just not that good at that. And and like country, I just, I don't like Twain. I am not a twi like I like old school like stuff like beyond like early country like Johnny Cash or like uh, Elvis or Leland Jennings you know stuff like that like the stuff that doesn't exactly sound like it like before Twain you know what I mean so it's like 
but like you know, straight up country just not really my thing, or rap it's not really my uh, wheelhouse. I mean, no respect to anyone who does like that. It's just it's not really my thing, and it's like I try to respect other people's opinions on that sort of thing. But uh, but yeah, um, you know, that's just a little bit about me. Um, I hope you like this video. I I don't want it to be super long, so you know, I think about ten minute mark is probably good. Uh, if there's anything else you'd really want to know, you can just, you know, send me a message and I might be able to, like, answer it for you guys. But I hope you liked this video, found it entertaining. Um, if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, leave a comment, definitely appreciate it. Uh, follow, send some, uh, some requests as well. Uh, follow my Instagram at Made Period Ryan. Um, uh, follow my Instagram at Made Period Ryan. As always, my Facebook profile is going to be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.